Hello friends, Mike Adams here with the Audacity Bootcamp. Hey, in this video I want to talk to you about one of the things that's new in Audacity 3.0.0 concerning macros. So let's get started. In this screen that I've got open here before us, I have my two versions of Audacity running again. On the right side I've got version 2.4.2. On the left side I've got version 3.0.0. And I have them both open in order to illustrate for you what's changed concerning macros. Now I've got the right window active or highlighted, so if I go up to Tools and I pull up Macros, it's going to pull up the macros associated with version 2.4.2. I use a few macros all the time. I've, they've been a real time saver for me. I use some to export different files at different LUFS levels, as well as a couple of them that I use just as normal test files. So if I bring this window over kind of into the middle so we can see it better, and I expand it out here on the right side, you can see that the left side tells me the name of the macro that I have highlighted, and the right side is telling me the steps in that macro in order to make that macro run. So I'm going to kind of crunch this back down a little bit, crunch of course being a technical term, and I'm going to move it back over here, and then I'm going to highlight this left window, and I'm going to go back to Tools, and this time I'm going to open the macros, associated with version 3.0.0 of Audacity. And I want to show you a couple of differences. The first thing that will jump out at us is that right here on the center buttons, we now have an import and export capability for macros. I can import macros now, and I can export macros now if I want to share them with somebody. It imports and exports from and to a text file, a .txt file. It takes that information in that setting and turns it into a text file that it can read and so you can import it and export it to share with others. So I'm going to expand this window out now on the left side here so we can get a better view of it. And let's come up to one of the other macros that I use. This one, this one on the top here says a negative 14 lufs YouTube mono. This is uh, what I use when I'm doing a YouTube channel or a YouTube video just like this one. YouTube wants everything set to a minus 14 lufs. And so I wrote this macro to export my file, normalized or loudness normalized, to a minus 14 lefts, and I export it using this uh, macro. But notice at the top, at the top, that first line is a comment line. Comment line is new to Audacity 3.0.0 in macros. Before version 3.0.0, you couldn't put a comment line in there. A comment line, it can be used for anything. It's just simple text. And this one, the comment is, assume sync lock tracks is on. I always use sync lock tracks when I'm doing a project, and so this particular macro assumes that I have sync lock tracks on. And I can insert a comment anywhere that I want in this macro. If your macros get real long and real complex, you might want to use comments in there to talk about what's about to happen in the macro or what just happened in the macro, steps above or steps below in order to add some clarity to it, because this, you know, macros can get pretty complicated pretty fast. And so the ability to add comment lines in there is huge. And that's a new addition to Audacity 3.0.0, is the ability to add comment lines and import and export your macros. Prior to 3.0.0, we couldn't do that. So I hope that this helps you. If you're one that uses macros, you're going to find this very beneficial and very helpful. So until next time, I'll see you.